When scientists examined this ancient child mummy, they discovered a strange object in its entrails. A team of scientists at Northwestern University are studying an ancient Egyptian mummy from the Roman era, and they're using a groundbreaking technique that's never been tried before. The mummified remains are those of a five-year-old girl who died 1,800 years ago. Moreover, among other things, the researchers want to find out how the child died. Egyptians, at least those of high birth, had been mummifying their dead for centuries, but the way they did so during the Roman imperial era from about the 1st to the 3rd century AD had its own particular characteristics. The most striking of those was the practice of inserting a board with a painted likeness of the deceased over the face. The earliest examples of Egyptian mummification we know about date back about 4,800 years. The motivation for the practice was a religious belief that it would lead to a better life after death. As well as mummifying bodies, the Egyptians also built incredibly elaborate tombs. This culminated in the Great Pyramids at Giza, which were burial places for pharaohs. By about 3,600 years ago, the Egyptians had advanced their expertise in mummification. Now they had begun to eviscerate bodies using various fluids to perform the embalming process. In fact, we have the most detailed knowledge about the later Greco-Roman period, starting in the 4th century BC and lasting until the 4th century AD, as documentary evidence from that era exists. Although we have that written evidence, it mostly deals with the ceremonial and religious practices rather than the practical mechanics of embalming and mummification. But modern technology has enabled scientists to greatly increase their knowledge of the techniques used by the ancient Egyptians. Thanks to cat scanning of mummies, we now know the basic steps used by the Egyptians in mummification. The first part of the process was to remove the internal organs, starting with the brain. A sharp object poked up the nose fragmented the brain, which would then liquefy and flow out. Once the brain and other organs, such as the lungs, intestines, and liver, had been removed, the body would be cleaned out with a cocktail of palm wine and spices. The one organ that was left in place was the heart. This was because the Egyptians believed this was the organ where the conscious mind was. After that, the body would be dehydrated using a substance called natron, a mixture of chemicals including sodium bicarbonate and salt. This occurs naturally in Egypt at a place called Wadi Natron, where it was extracted. Now all that would remain of the body were the muscles, hair, and skin. Subsequently, they would remove moisture from the internal organs as well. Then they preserve them in separate and carefully closed containers, or after wrapping, put them back inside the corpse. Next, the body itself would be wrapped in layers of linen with amulets to ward off evil spirits. Finally, the whole construction would be coated with a layer of resin to prevent water damage from humidity. After this process, which usually took about 40 days, the mummy was ready to be placed in its tomb. A variety of objects that the deceased might need for the afterlife would be sealed in the tomb as well. Back to the mummy that researchers at Northwestern University have been studying. It was discovered in 1911 by Flinders Petrie, an eminent English archaeologist, when he was excavating a Roman burial ground at Hawara in Egypt. Petrie gifted the mummy to Lydia Beekman Hibbard because she had helped fund his work. She, in turn, donated it to the Garrett Evangelical Theological Seminary. This mummy, called the Hibbard Mummy or the Hawara Portrait Mummy No. 4, is one of about 100 that are known as Fayum mummies. Hawara is located in the region of Fayum. These mummies from Egypt's Roman era have a distinctive element, the pictures painted on panels placed to the front of the body's faces. These are widely regarded as some of the finest art that's been preserved from the classical era. Here we see the portrait that graces the Hibbard mummy. Although we know that the body inside the wrapping is that of a five-year-old girl, this picture appears to show someone a little older than that. Northwestern University professor Mark Walton speculates that the picture may show an older relative or perhaps what the girl might have looked like at a later age. The Hibbard mummy was CAT scanned at Northwestern Memorial Hospital in August of 2017, confirming the child's age as five. It also identified other areas for deeper research. Consequently, that second level of research has been carried out using the Advanced Photon Source Synchrotron at the Argonne National Laboratory, about 20 miles from Chicago. The Advanced Photon Source Synchrotron is a high-energy particle accelerator. 
it can produce incredibly bright x-rays from a beam just one one hundred tenth of an inch across. Usually, this machine is used for research into advanced physics. However, for the first time, it's been brought into service to examine a mummy. This high-tech method of studying the mummy meant that there was no need to disturb its actual material, which in any case the researchers did not have permission to do. Speaking to the Chicago Tribune, Professor Walton said, We can't do this with any other technique. We're really pioneering new methods of looking at the intact objects without having to take an actual sample of them. Speaking to the Chicago Tribune, Professor Walton said, That's what we're trying to do with all this analysis, to unpack who this person was. We're trying to construct the narrative. And after the scientists had spent 15 hours scanning the mummy, they found much new information from the interior of the mummy to analyze. Indeed, one of the things the scientists were interested in was a lump set inside the mummy's skull, which had been revealed by the CAT scan. The object may be made of ceramic, but initial results from the latest tests have not yet definitely identified its purpose. The x-rays also showed that there are wires inside the body's teeth. However, an object wrapped on the mummy's abdomen remains a mystery. What we do know is that the girl most probably died of disease, as there are no apparent marks of injury on the body. Diseases that are likely to have killed a five-year-old include smallpox, malaria, and tuberculosis. Notably, at the time the girl died, as few as half of children ever saw their 10th birthday. The Hibbard mummy was put on show at a free exhibition with other mummies with portraits from January 2017 at Northwestern University's Block Museum of Art in Chicago. The museum's director, Lisa Corin, told the Chicago Tribune that these portraits look like us and remind us of our own mortality. When we see them, they look like people that we know, Corin added. They have such potency. Please share this video with your friends below.